will be given by the present value of dividends during supernormal growth during supernormal growth Plus, 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 the present value of dividends during constant growth. During constant growth of dividends. During constant flow of dividends. So go to August 2022. August 2022. So five. August 2022, question 5, C. August 2022, question 5, C. So, For the first three years, the market will be passing around the next two years, after which the dividend will go to the market for credit. The recovery rate of return for the dividend is less than the recovery. The incentive value of the commission of the community. So you have the year, the dividend, the days go there. Mm -hmm. The same recently paid a dividend of 2.5. So the dividend is expected to grow at the rate of 15% per annum for the first three years. Such that if it grows by two uh by 15% for the first three years, at the end of year two, how much will be the value of that dividend? So this is the growth element, and plus growing by 15% for three years. So how much? Sorry? Then you get the present what value. You get the present value of this one dividend. Remember, we say that the present value of dividends that are growing irregularly is given by the present value of dividend during supernormal growth, plus the present value of dividend during constant growth. So the supernormal growth will be in the first three years is 15 percent. So you want to get your present value, so you must have your present value interest what at R percent N. The rate of discounting or the cost or the rate of return on a summary is 12%. It's 12%. So, year one, how much is that discounting factor? Zero point. What do you see? The dividend is 2.5. Oh, the dividend is 2.5. 2.5. 2.5. So, how much is the total value there? 
2.875. What's the discount factor at year one, 12%? 0 0.89. 0 0.892. Therefore, we get our present box value. We take your dividend times your present value in capital. Mm -hmm. 2.567. 2.567. Okay. The dividend in the second dealer will be 2.875. It is still growing by 15 percent now. It is still growing by 15 percent. This is 3.306. 3.306, yeah? Hmm. What is coming in Bhakta? Is it about? It's about 7.72. Yeah, really, well, it was good going on. 15 percent for the past three years, you know? Yes. It's growing at 15 percent in the past three years, then. Eh? How much? What year? 2.63. Present value, eh? 2.63. You take eh? the dividend of 3.3 and it's your present value interest factor. Eh? Ah, Repair the growth rate at the end of the year. It's growing by 15%. The dividend. At the year, year two was 3.3, yeah? but it is growing by 15% in year three. Yeah? So, what is the new price? What's the dividend? 3.8. 3.8. Okay. Yeah. 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 Two point seven zero six. Two point seven zero six. Okay. Then the same. Then at the rate of ten percent for the next two years. So year four is growing by ten percent. One point one zero. Four point one eight two discounting factor. Twelve percent. It's twelve percent. It was twelve percent the discounting factor. The required rate of return for the ordinary is twelve percent. Zero point six three. Two point six percent. Yes. Two point six five. Two point six five eight. Yes. All right. You find 
4.182 going at 10 percent going at 10 percent going at 10 percent Four point six. 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 Four point Then they will say, they will say, after which the dividend will grow at the rate of 5% per annum to of 30. So we will see this. So we will say, Mm -hmm. We use the following formula. So this constant growth of dividends to opportunity. So you use the formula for constant growth then. Because the dividend is growing into perpetuity at the rate of five watt per cent. So this constant growth. So the current dividend is 4.6. One, your growth rate is 0 0.05, 5%. 5%. Your cost of equity was 12%. equally minus a growth rate of 0 0.05. What's your dividend half of? It's your dividend. You want to determine the dividend with perpetuity. In the same, because it has constant growth, you follow what? That formula there. How much is it constant growth? 72.6. 72.6. Confirm? 72.6. Confirm in that. Seventy-two point six. It is 72. When you use the discounting factor of the awards, zero point five six. So give me the value. I hope this number is alright. I'm getting sixty nine. Sixty nine. Yeah. Point six, six, zero. Point zero. Zero. Then you discount at the present value of your five, which is zero point five six seven four. Zero point five six seven four. That is the present value of dividends during constant what? 
one, we have gotten the present value of dividends during supernormal growth, but at a pop, year five. Eh? Then from year six up to perpetuity, it is constant, uh, it is present value of dividends during constant what? Growth in the Yogani, we have. So therefore, your total intrinsic value of the core value. Give me your total intrinsic value. We can do a second illustration. We can do a second illustration. Go to April 2022, question one. Three, 2022, question one. Every 2022. Question one C. Twenty twenty two, question one C. One day actually, not C one day. Indeed, yeah, continue to tell me. What? When you are doing with some day, you are a punch. You are not dependent on the next day, fun, and I got a new summary for sale. In the early promotion of the US, she didn't speak. We are not a champion of the Pizza, and I'm not going to say it was not. This in the current financial years, it has provided the total information regarding the investment. The company adopts 60% the operation and this dividend goes. The company is considering two investment options at Columbus. The firm has an investment opportunity, which is at the time of the government in dividends will be 10% per for the next three years. The government will fall to 8% per annum for the next two years after the first three years and then stabilize at 6% per annum thereafter. Option two, the firm can continue with the current investment and the group. And the growth in dividend will continue at the rate of 10% per annum in perpetuity. Prepare. Assuming the required rate of return is 15%, advise the company on the option to take. The option to do what? Take. So we can start with option ones.
Now, option one, the data is C. That the firm has an investment opportunity which is undertaken the growth rate in dividends will be 10% per annum for the next three years, 8% for the next two years, and three, and in the next in the first three years, then stabilize at six percent thereafter. Shower. But if you go to that question, have they given you the dividends? Have they given you the dividends? No. They have not given you the, the dividends. This first question of August 2022, they had already given us a dividend of 2.15. But in this question, they have not given you what? Dividends. But when you have been given the payout ratio, yeah, you've been given the EPS. You can get your dividend what? Your dividend price now. Okay. Yeah. You can get your dividend. So you say your dividend will be your what? EPS times your payout what? Times your payout ratio. You can use a share on the same money, Gabby. Eight shillings. With a payout ratio of what percent? The company adopts a payout ratio of what percent? 60%. Sixty percent. In the first introduction statement, the company adopts a payout a sixty percent ratio. Payout ratio as its dividend or policy. So what is your dividend? Your dividend. Okay. it. All right. Coconut it. Well, this dividend is irregular because it has different what growth rates. Yeah. So D not one plus one. G. We know to get the intrinsic value of a dividend that has what supernormal growth. You get the dividend during supernormal, the present value of dividends during supernormal work growth plus your what? Your present value of constant growth. Eh? So the same criteria we have above. So we have one. The current is 4.8. For the first three years, the growth rate on a summary that 10%. Mm -hmm. 10%. 10%. You know it. Five point two eight. Oh, what? Five point two eight. Five point two eight. Eh? Okay. Five point two eight. I mean, it is growing by what percent? Ten percent. Eh? Mm -hmm. Five point two eight. Five point eight. Zero eight, then E and three, five point eight zero eight, still growing at one percent and percent six point three, three nine, three nine. E and four, it is growing at one percent for the next, the growth rate will fall to eight percent for the next two years. Six point three, so that one point zero. So the eight percent is in effect for two years, eh? So, Seven point five. Seven point four five. The next part of the same map. Uh, and for the next years after the first three, after the first three years, then it will stabilize at what? 
substance. We will cancel after the past three years. It's not on the page. Right? That is a typing mistake. Cancel after the first three years. Uh, then stabilize at 6% per annum. So that is what we refer to as our constant growth. Eh? So from in six into what? Perpetuity. The first month get the constant growth dividend. Eh? We say 27.45. Uh -huh. One growth rate happened in life. Six, six per six percent. Uh -huh. Divided by the cost of equity in Gabi. 18 percent. 8 percent is 18. 18, eh? So what's that? What is the value at constant growth? We have to introduce present value interest factor at 18 or percent. We have to the present value. So you're getting me constant growth here. How much? How much? How much? How much? Sixty-five point eight. Sixty-five point. Ah, then now we introduce our present part, or we discount. So now, the present part is one and one. You know what? Eighteen percent. You know what? The discounting factor is eighteen percent. Is it? When we compare eighteen percent, how much is it? How much is it? Ah, uh, 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 Thank <laughs>
Now, the present value here for year six up to perpetuity, the sum of the present value here is equal to five for the previous year. So, the present value of the interest factor zero point. We're getting this how much present value. Twenty. 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 The firm can continue the current investment in the group in dividends will continue at the rate of 10% per annum in perfect. Okay, which is the same. It's only you know, that is constant growth. Eh? That is constant what? Growth. The dividend is how much? 4.8. It's growing in perpetuity at a rate of what? 10%. The cost of equity was 18%. 10%. It's How much? Uh, so what should they what is the best option? Is it or Okay, so the best option. The company should take option what? Because it is not that to go to the highest what? It is not that to go to the highest what? Value of what is the reward? Yes. Yeah. Right. Let's go to second layer on that That was that was dividend valuation method. So the was the evaluation method using Gordon's approach. So let's go to the second method, price and ratio method. Price and the ratio method.
primes are in selection method. Primes are in selection method. Same. The price and the ratio is given by price and the ratio is given by your MPS divided by your EPS. MPS divided by your EPS divided by your EPS. Is not EPS and is a payout what? Remember, they give you retention ratio. You take one minus retention what? Ratio. You get your payout what? Ratio. Right. So go to number 170. Number 170. Question three. Number one twenty seven. Number one twenty seven. Number 2017. Sorry. Right. What do you need to say? The ordinary shares of Tokyo Limited are 50 to 70 The company's price and ratio is 6 cents. Tokyo Limited adopts 40% pay of trade as the it is predicted that the company's earnings and dividends will grow at a minimum rate of 10% for the first three years, 5% for the next two years, and 4% thereafter in the future. The investor's minimum required rate of return is 20%. Required the current increased value of the price. Advise the investor based on the exact trading rate. Right, so the same the ordinary shares of Kwekwe are currently selling at how much? The current market price per share in Gambi is now. The company is price earnings ratio in Gambi. So they want you first to determine your EP. <laughs> the EP is Say the price and the ratio of six divided by EP. Give me your EPS number. Give me your EPS. In sixty divided by ten. Ah, uh, by ten. So now, which is ten? Eh? Well, now that you have your EPS, you can get your marks. Your dividend. Look well. Then they don't give us a price the dividend. So we can get our dividend and you know it is your EPS times your what? They are out ratio. Mm -hmm. It will be 10 times a payout ratio of what percent? 40 percent. So it's your dividend for Bob. And then for Bob. Is it portion? Mm -hmm. And then you have your year. Your dividend that is growing, yeah. <clears throat> now, we are one, we are two for the past three years <clears throat> growing at ten percent. Eh? 
equal yes. okay. then five percent for the next two years then the average is the population to take up and if you have a couple of numbers This is common form. Equally, Five point three two one. Area four and five. When we are going to do our five percent, you know. So five percent. Seven point five million. Simply in a five percent. Sorry, five point eight seven. Then that is a perpetual In perpetuity, it is growing at what rate for persistence? How much? Yes, yes. Seven six one three. Seven six one three. Then asset Net asset level. You see the value of the net assets. The value of the net assets. 
will be the value of the assets as per the financial statement. Be the value of the assets as per the financial statements. The net book value share will be the net assets divided by the number of ordinary shares. Number of ordinary shares. For the net assets is equal to total assets. Minus intangible assets. Number two six I'm going back to six months on a bit of time. The following data will be extracted from the financial statements and that's why we need to be intended for the year in the 13th century of 2016. The total assets, the liabilities, the share, the total, price parities, outstanding value, number of financial shares required. A book value per share, market price per share, market value to book valuation. All right. So then I start with book value per what? Yeah. Which will be your net assets divided by number of body that you want. The net assets will be your total assets. The total assets will be because I'm in now there. Yes. Minus your total liabilities. 
Total liability is equal to around four million. You do not have a preference shares capital. Okay. You divide that by the number of outstanding ones. Ordinary shares. It is how much? Seven point five. But two hundred seven. The market price per share. The market price per share. They have given you the price and duration. They have given you the EPS. So you say it is the EPS you multiply by what? The price and as well. Duration. Your EPS for the seven one point one. Price and duration of seven up to ten. How much is that? When I click on a preference share coverage of five hundred. Click on a preference share coverage of five hundred thousand. How much is that? All the preference here can be of the liabilities. How much is How much is your MGS? See, sixteen point five. We look on the same market value to book value. Sixteen point five. Divided by what? How much?
So profit level same, same. This method is used in a company. In this first time, it's keep saying that that was a mistake. Mm -hmm. but profit method three. This method is used. This method is used. When a company is operating as a going concern. When a company is operating as a going concern and profitably, and profitably, and the management is optimistic of the future growth of the company. When the management is optimistic of the future growth of it. The intrinsic value of a share is calculated as follows. Value of a share has been calculated as follows. Net eligible assets. Me, <laughs> Yes, why is it limited as a watch touch to as its work? She needs to watch each one the return on assets of good assets. The company expects to receive a payment of shipments per million per annum for the next five years. The company has two million per cent of the shares. The current, the theoretical value per share is for profit level. Right. So the net tangible assets is how much? 48 million. The return on assets is 12 percent. 12 percent. They expect to receive a profit of 10 million annually for the next what? 
the company has two million outstanding ones. We have our net time in the last set already. Good. Last time I put eight ones. Then you say now. Yeah. We need to get our good will. Good will. And for us to get our good will, we will take our expected profit. How much was the expected profit? The expected profit was 10 million. Minus, how much was the actual profit? Mm -hmm. The same. Mm -hmm. Uh, the return on asset is 12%. 12 12 so your return on profit will be 12% of what? Of your investment eh? of 40 what? 48 million. That is what will give you your expected what? Profit minus up to profit. So that will be your super normal profit. Then you multiply that, so we are here. Eh? The expected profit 10 million minus up to profit 10% of 48, 48, that is your actual profit. Okay. Then you multiply by how many years of passes? For the next five years. The next five years. How much is your good? How much is your good? Good. That's a good one. Next time you will ask it in Gabi. Uh, 48 million. Plus 21, 200. Divided by the number of ordinary shares, which are how many? Out at the You want to What is more again? What is more than that? What is number four? Number four, what is more than that? What is more than Say. It is based on dividend valuation model. It is based on dividend valuation model. And is determined as follows. Is determined as Meet 
Three of two. The current information will be extracted to the remaining statements, more elements. Alice, I share the characterization rate that was used to tension. Regime forty percent, gamma rate of return sixteen percent. We are required to be agree the price per share and the loads will not more than the one times before. How do you feel you can do using the code on the The code on the link in the valuation model, the normal one, the notes is what have given. All right, however, I want to put the next part. The next part capitalization unit rate is the cost of equity. Yeah? KE. The capitalization unit is KE. The capitalization unit is KE. Don't forget that. Uh, let's go back there. It's all just. We have our dividend. We have our dividend. We have our dividend. No, but if they give you EPS, if they give you retention ratio, you can get what? So the same, this will be your EPS. You multiply by what? You multiply by payout ratio or by retention rate? Multiply by retention payout ratio. Your EPS is 50, your payout ratio, if your retention ratio is 40%, your retention ratio must be 60 after it's enough. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right? Nine. Nine. Okay. Then, R is your return on some money? Your return on rate of return is 16 percent. Then we want KE. KE to the same in the meaning. Capitalization rate, which is cost of equity, 10 percent. Your EPS to pronounce now is which we know in Gavi. So let's do that. A big review. So, T naught, D naught on nine plus R sixteen percent divided by KE is no point time. EPS minus nine. Eh? Now, divided by all KE is no point time. How much food?
Now, in the past part of that question, you think dividend there or quarter uh, dividend valuation for them? They give you the retention ratio and they give you the return on equity. Basically, means nothing about the growth there. So, in the first part of that question is important. That's what I'm telling me growth. Part is using all the That's what I'm telling me growth. And then we have growth is the retention of ratio. You would play by what? R O return on investment. The retention ratio is go up 40 percent. Yes. Your return was 16 percent. Go ahead, go, Gabby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Now, you have everything else. You have the dividends, the data as well, nine. So now, that you have everything else. The new canal, you want to make for me. Okay, so you have the dividends, the data as well, nine. So now, you have everything else. Valuation of bonds, that was already in the Let's finalize the valuation of bonds. Again, you have to check the level of two valuation of bonds. If you have a further start, you have to analyze the valuation of bonds. Valuation of bonds. The one of the other shares is what for number two. Valuation of bonds. And the bank's measure. Bonds are long term debt instruments. Bonds are long term debt instruments. Long term debt instruments issued by the company, issued by a company wishing to raise funds from the public. We should raise funds from the public, from the public. Number eight, valuation of the kingdom of bonds. These are bonds with a maturity period. These are bonds in a maturity period. These are bonds with a maturity period. A maturity period. Hmm. 
and the cash flows and the cash flows will be the interest paid periodically will be the interest paid periodically and the redemption value upon maturity and the redemption value upon maturity the value of a bond will be equal to Right, go to May twenty twenty one was in May. I did. I was standing. I was standing to two million face value with a fourteen percent performance. And three years interest and three years remaining until maturity. Interest payment by medicine and required. The value of one, assuming the normal annual required rate of return is 20 percent. Assume that the required rate of return is what percent? Is 12 percent. But if you notice carefully there, you will notice carefully that all, when that occurs an outstanding 2 million is value bond with a 14% open one, right? And the three years remaining until what? Maturity. However, interest are paid semi, interest are paid what? Semi. Semi annual. So let's start by determining our, our interest. Start by determining our interest so that we get our present value. So let's get our interest. The interest, which is how much? The total million. You multiply by what? You multiply by what? You're multiplying by what? With a 14 percent coupon rate or 12 percent. That's the question. The interest 14 or 12. And interest equals for the percent. It's a fourteen percent coupon rate, but it is charged what? Interest is semi annual, so it is fixed rate in and so you have to multiply that by half. Remember the interest the coupon rate there was per annum. 
the interest is what appears. So we have to multiply by appearing that. One put it down. Yes. One forty thousand. One forty thousand. Wow. Uh -huh. How many years are you discounting this? Remember, we want a present value. Right? How many years are you discounting this? How many years? But because it's been discounted, I mean, annually. So effectively, you're discounting for how many years? Like six years. Because it's semi annual. In summer, yes. It is semi annual. It is semi annual. So let's get huh? your present value of your interest. Your present value of what? Interest, the value. So we did not. It would be present value of the interest, which is uh, 140,000 times this interest you're paying it what annually. See now, so it is an annuity. So could you let have a present value interest factor of an annuity at what percent? The cost of capital you call 20%. You know? For how many years? Six years. Plus your present value of your redemption. When you're redeeming it, you redeem it for how much? Two million, eh? You're redeeming it for two million? Then uh this value eh? times your present value interest factor, 12%, how many years? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so one forty thousand. Go to your annuity table. You submit to part and six years. Remember, the interest is paid annually. That is going to the annuity. That is going to the annuity. So, it's paid annually. That is going to the annuity. Okay, I'm going to one to six years ago. Alpha. Plus, plus, mm -hmm. and this interest was annual fully. The rate of return was it annual? The required rate of return was it annual? The value of this bond, assuming that the nominal annual required rate is what? So, this should be no, this should be six years, not 12 years. Ah, this should be six years, yes, but uh, at six percent. So that you have a for some. So the summit, I just that I just that. So six percent for six years and like plus give me the present value into some twelve percent every. So you have converted that because it was what? The interest was annual. Mm -hmm. You want it semi annual. You want it semi annual. Mm -hmm. What is the interest factor? So the, the redemption value is an annual. Yeah? The redemption value is an annual. It's an annual. Because it is only being redeemed at the end of three years. Yeah? End of three years, so it is an annuity. So, you have to confirm that you're using the non annuity table to the table amount or a last. You're using a lump sum for the redemption value. For the redemption value, it is a lump sum. For the interest, it is a what? An annuity. So the lump sum here, you're multiplying by the present value interest factor, but none and so I want I expect it to be 0 0.7. 0 0.7 one point eight. 
how much is the value of your body? How much? Two million. Two million. Would you kindly repeat why we used table two and not table table one and not table two? Uh, you say interest rate is paid annually, so that is why it's the what an and But when you redeem, you redeem after three years, so you only redeem once, not every year. So that is why it's an and and. Any sound? How far have answered that question? So the interest is only used table one because it is paid annually. The other one, it is being redeemed after three years, so it is a lump sum or a single amount. So it is an annuity. It is an annuity. Convertible bonds, market, convertible bonds. Convertible bonds. Convertible bonds. Say convertible bonds gives the holder. Convertible bonds give the holder. The right to convert them. The right to convert them into other securities into other securities at a predetermined date at a predetermined date the value of the bond depends on the value of the bond depends on the conversion value, 
And the market expectation. In the market expectation on the future. In the future, here price on the future. Share price in the future share price. September twenty twenty one. The formula is in this. We are finalizing this particular topic. The gold will either be available at 50% of premium at of the years or the gradual gold will be eaten at a conversion rate of 100 by two ordinary shares. Each ordinary share is currently trading at its largest exchange for 50 million dollars. So it is expected that the share price will increase at the total rate of 5% each year. The minimum required rate of return by competitive investors is 10%. Therefore, the current value of the unit is gone, the current value of the inflation is gone by the world. For those four advantages of the for four advantages that we have agreed to better use the risk of much more papers as source of evidence. So, the bond is known will be the present value of what? Interest plus present value of redemption what? So they're saying this Benta issued a 16% bond with a power value of a thousand. So now the bond will either be redeemed at 20% premium after five years. So let's get the interest then. The present value of the interest, which will be 16% of what? Of a thousand. So now, okay. that is your interest times your present value interest factor. How many years? Five years. For five years. The cost of liquidity is 20%. Eh? Five years. Eh? Is earning interest for five years, okay? Then it is being redeemed at a what? At a premium, see now. If it is being redeemed at a premium, it means if the current value is thousand, the premium will be one twenty percent of what? A thousand, yeah? That is the premium, eh? uh -huh. Times that is the uh, conversion. Or the redeemable price, yeah? mm -hmm. times your present value interest factor 20%. Five years. Five years. 
found. Remember, we said interest is an annuity. The redemption value is a non annuity. That is why you're using the interest factor. That is why you're using the interest factor. What is the bonus? Premium is 120% of the power value. Is 120% of the power value. Sixteen percent of thousand is one sixty. Yes. And so this is the present value of a twenty percent get right. Remember it is an annuity, so you are using the annuity table. Three points. Six zero four eight. Six zero four eight plus. And 20% of the thousand is that 120. So now, what is the present value interest factor 12 percent here? So this is an annuity. So an annuity table. Another. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Seven, four. What is the value of your redeemable loan? How much? This is uh, this is twelve hundred not this is not twenty five six seven and twenty thousand so months and twelve hundred yes and twenty thousand is twelve hundred not twenty six. Convert with bonds, no the bond will be the interest and spread and value interest factor of an annuity. Mm -hmm. um, plus conversion value plus present value interest factor the debt yeah? maybe it's the cost of debt no that you will use the gains. So the same way you are using the apogen and the gain here. But basically, it is the present it is the present value of interest plus present value of conversion. Conversion. So the present value of the interest is where I want to start. The present value of interest is where we put on the end. I was saying. Better limited issued 16 percent what? Corporate bond with the power value of about 10. So this will be 
16% at per value of how much? A thousand now. Mm -hmm. But you want your present value interest factor of an IUT at five years. 3.60 point. Mm -hmm. Let's get the present value of conversion of the We're getting the present value of conversion value. Then the conversion value is known as the market value or market value. You pay it for market value. So you're converting this, uh, this bond into other security there or into another form of security. If you want to get the present value on that day also, then you convert it. Yeah. The same. The bond will either be redeemed at 20% premium after five years or convertible into equity at a conversion rate of a thousand units per to ordinary shares. Eh? So the number of shares here, yeah, we want first to determine the number of shares. And they say when you have an hundred shares value, you're getting two shares. Eh? Suppose you're gonna how much? A thousand. How many shares will you be given in the thousand? Twenty shares? You'll be given twenty what? Shares. You'll be given twenty shares. Then after that, we determine the market price per share after five years. We want to determine the market price per share for how many years? Five years. Do they say? Each ordinary share is currently trading at how much? 50. And it is exportable the share price will increase at a constant rate of 5% each. So 50 is increasing by 5%. Eh? So now, you have to how many years? Five. You are in Gabi. So that's the market price. So you get the market price after five years, eh? or when the, the day of conversion. The day of conversion. How much will you be trading at? Uh, what will you be trading at? You have incorporated that because it is growing, yeah? Because it is growing. How much? Yeah. So what's the conversion value? Yeah. Conversion value. So, so. We'll make sure your market price is 3.81 we'll multiplied by the number of shares. The conversion value take the, number, the market price times the number of shares. Twelve seventy six points two. So let's now get the present what value. See now, present value of conversion. Just say, man, the present value of conversion. You take the conversion value here, which is twelve seventy six points two eight. You multiply by the present value interest factor of an annuity. No, of oh, an annuity. Yeah. Give me the present value interest factor. Give me the present value interest factor. But it is not an annuity. The rate was a twelve percent. Eh? The required rate was twelve percent. So you get the present value interest factor twelve percent. But at the end of the year, what? But this is not an annuity. Remember, it is not a what? An annuity. Say the present value of conversion Same one in twelve seventy six point two eight. Give me the discounting factor. Five six seven. Five six seven. Okay,
So the value of the bond, the value of the bond, we know is the present value of your interest. How much is money going? It's so funny since I did here. Sorry, I don't Eight. So if they ask you for the conversion premium, seven would be not minus conversion value. Conversion value equal to a how much Now, uh, the formula for valuation of free and shares is similar to redeemable bonds. Eh? See, it is similar to valuation of what? Valuation of what?
These are the topics that are mostly examinable. Not examinable topics, but let me say prediction. That's a really picture. Valuation does it matter? Competition of the rate collects the price. Specific price, X rate price. We are what we did think, the last previous week. Um, cost of capital. Capital, then my core. Those six topics will be in the exam. Those six topics will be in the last many times. Now, we are here. Islamic finance will be the last time. I will let us have the Islamic finance. we did not get on to the 